Our mode of development is so much based on growth, but what we know now scientifically and what is confirmed by the IPCC is that economic growth is simply not compatible with a flourishing human society, nor a flourishing natural world. And I think a step for every board leader, for every member, for every social entrepreneur is to ask, what does it actually mean to develop my sector, my industry, my enterprise, where the growth imperative is actually taken away, where we instead focus on a well-being economy, we instead focus on well-being strategies, where the core and purpose of why it exists, what we do, um, really is to serve human flourishing. And a Perth growth society is, I think, eventually what a sustainable society will look like on a global scale. There's economic growth and there's uneconomic growth. Of course, there's growth within limits. Um, there's growth to an extent where there's certain industries that need to grow, that support human flourishing. You're talking about education, you're talking about healthcare, um, you're talking uh, about those that contribute to human well-being. But actually, the, the question we need to be asking is, what are the other aspects of the economy that maybe are not serving us any longer to, to really be out of control in its growth? Places like fast fashion, when it comes to military emissions, when it comes to planned obsolescence of technology. These are the things that we know we can no longer keep growing exponentially. Um, and, you know, we think about GDP growth and global GDP growth uh, even at 2% a year. You know, you scale that exponentially for the next 100 years, there are simply not enough rocks, materials um, on this planet, not enough human communities that are able to sustain that level of growth for the next century. What our economic models will look like will actually be quite diverse, um, depending on if you're in a desert, if you're in a forest area, uh, depending on which industries you have access to, what your skills are. And I think what the future holds for us is that there's not going to be just this one economic paradigm. I think that's partly what got us to where, where we are today. metrics are no longer you know, what's GDP growth in a particular sector and how are we contributing to that. The metrics are, is this a more compassionate society or empathetic society? What does it mean for us to be focusing on, on growth? And what is the type of growth that we need? And actually, what is the type of degrowth we need in this world?